Hey guys, Chris here. Um, I've never done this before, so forgive me if this isn't very good, but um, I wanted to do a video on how to make a stereo Logic Drummer MIDI kit into a multi-track audio kit because this was something that I wanted uh, to do last year and there wasn't anything I could find that was very good at explaining it, so I figured it out and I wanted to do uh, a video on it. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll just take you through my sort of method for it. Uh, there's probably other methods out there, guys. Uh, I'm not saying that this is uh, the only one. Uh, it's the only one I know how to do. All right, so, as you can see, we've got just eight bars of a groove. Uh, here uh, and I'm going to play it for you Okay, so really simple uh, drum groove that I, I played in. Uh, I'm not using any of the producer kits. I'm using the really basic Logic drummer program. I plugged an electronic drum kit into this and I played the groove, all right? So um, it's a really simple process. Uh, it just sometimes takes time, especially if you have uh, a big kit or uh, a lot of information. <clears throat> so the first thing you want to do is you're going to go to edit or you're going to select your kit. Uh, select your MIDI region, you're going to go edit, and then you go to this down here, it's called separate MIDI events, uh, and you want to select the one that says by note pitch, and boom, just like that, uh, it separates all the MIDI. Okay, so that's the first step. You'll notice, excuse me, that if I solo the first one and I hit it, It's still a stereo kit, so that won't do, all right? It'll let you edit the MIDI, but it won't let you edit anything individually after that. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last track here, track 10, and then I'm going to go to track up here, and I'm going to go to new tracks. Uh, and I'm going to go to drum kit designer, keep it on software instrument, drum kit designer, and I want nine because I've worked out that there are 10 tracks less the first one that just was the original MIDI track. Right, and I'm going to hit create, and boom, just like that, we have nine new tracks. And then what you're going to do is I'm going to select them all. Well, I won't let me group them. And I'm going to drag them down into here, like that. Okay. Now, if I solo, if I highlight and solo this track. we get what is obviously a bass drum, all right? So, uh, what do I do now? Well, it's really simple. Firstly, just for workflow, I'm going to delete all these old tracks because I don't need them now. And I also don't need this one either, so I'm going to delete that, right? Uh, and delete it completely, so it's away. everything's still there all right so i'm going to go through each one i'm going to solo them and then rename them so we, obviously the first one was the kick drum so let's rename that uh, kick drum um, and then i'm going to go through snare drum rename that oh not snake snare and then i'm going to re solo this and so that so that that's a snare too Rename track uh, snare two down to number eight, number four. Well, obviously, some hi hats there. Rename track hi hats. Uh, this one all the way along here is going to be floor tom. So let's rename that floor tom. Go to see what this is here. Sounds like a hi hat with the foot. Let's rename that hi hat T. Uh, this one is an open hi hat. So let's rename that to open hats. Uh, this one here, number 
nine. Right on. Take that, that, Tom. And then number ten is the last thing is the crash. Yep, crash. Rename track crash. Okay, cool. Right. So uh, I like to then just make this a workflow. Uh, that makes it a little bit easier for me. So, a uh, high hats, high hat foot, I'm going to move that. Open hats, I'm going to move that. I'm going to put the rack tom above the floor tom. Uh, just because that's the way I like to think about it. Now, uh, I'm going to show you why I'm. The next thing we need to do is take the snare drum tracks and the hi hat tracks and we need to put them together. And I'll show you why. If I, if I solo all the hi hat tracks, and I'm just going to get some where there, there are. All three instruments playing. Listen to this. That's an open hi hat sound, um, but it sucks because it doesn't register the closed part of it, even though the closed note is playing. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to select the glue tool and I'm going to glue them all together. Uh, and then I'll let you hear it again. Like that, you can hear that the hi hat now closes as it should. Okay, don't ask me why. I don't know the answer. I tried to find out, but I didn't really research it far enough. I just figured out the workaround, and that was it. I left it. So I can take the pointer tool again, and these two hi hat tracks I do not need. So delete those off. Great. And just for consistency, I'm going to do exactly the same with the snare tracks. So I'm just going to have those glue them together and boom done all right so let's uh, delete that off and there you have it there you have your stereo kit sorry your multi-track kit and um, so you can solo each individual uh, part of it and work on it what I, I took it a step further uh, and just I sent it to my friend who was working on them as audio files so you can go to solo here and I'm just going to file bounce this out project or session this is the way I like to do it uh, I just an mb3 for the sake of it uh, and I'm going to name that kick, send it, uh, replace, because I did this earlier and blew it, so I had to do it again. Uh, okay, so if I go to crash and I go to track, new audio track, because that's what I need, great, I'm going to go to file, I'm going to go to import audio, no, not MIDI, Chris, you're trying to go too fast. If I go to file, import audio file, and I find the kick drum and I hit open, boom, there you go, it's now an audio file of the kick drum, if I play it, there's your kick drum, so there you go, so you can do that with the rest of the tracks, you can bounce them out individually as audio files and then send them on to whoever is working with them, you can strip them of EQ, of compressing if there's any of that stuff already on, uh, yeah, just go to town, so I hope you found this useful, um, I hope it's of some use to someone who's creating some drums out there. Um, uh, send me some, put some comments on, put some suggestions on. There's maybe an easier way or something I've missed. Um, but uh, thanks for checking it out anyway. And uh, yeah, have good fun and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.